Welcome back, everybody, to the deep dive. Today, uh, we're doing something kind of different. We're going to be time traveling, folks. You know how throughout history, like humanity has experienced these massive upheavals, revolutions that completely changed how we live, work, interact with the world, really. Yeah, it's wild. When you look back, it almost seems inevitable, you know? Right. Like, there's this clear progression, right? You start with the agricultural revolution, where we're figuring out how to farm and settle down in one place. Right. Then, boom, urban revolution, bustling cities, complex social structures, the whole nine yards. Exactly. And then, of course, you've got the industrial revolution, yeah. machines, mass production. It just transformed everything. Oh, and we can't forget the one we're living through right now, right? The yeah. digital revolution, internet, smartphones, information overload 24-7. It's crazy to think how each one kind of built on the one before it. New tools, new ideas, just constantly pushing the boundaries. And that makes you wonder what's next, right? What's the next big leap? The one that's going to redefine our world, you know? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? So to get some insight, we decided to tap into a pretty unique panel of experts, actually. We consulted four different AIs. Oh, wow. Who are talking Chat GPT, Claude, Copilot, and even that new one, Grok. Mm. We asked them straight up, what's going to be the next big revolution? I am very curious to hear what they had to say. So, like, how did they approach this question? Did they all kind of agree or was it all over the place? Well, it's important to note that these AIs, they're not like fortune tellers, right? Right. They base their predictions by analyzing tons of data, spotting patterns, looking at trends, that sort of thing. Makes sense. The really cool part is that they all hit on some similar themes, but their probabilities and the emphasis on specific areas that's where things get interesting. Okay, so like four different perspectives, mm. all drawing on this massive pool of information, but maybe zeroing in on different aspects. I'm hooked. Tell me more. Think of it as a panel discussion with like four brilliant minds, each with their own quirks and opinions. Love it. So which revolution snagged the top spot in terms of combined probability from all four AIs? Drum roll, please the AI and automation revolution. Okay, not a huge shocker considering all the advancements in AI and robotics lately, but I'm sure the AIs brought some unique insights to the table, right? Absolutely, they really broke it down into these key components. Like, first off, they pointed to the development of artificial general intelligence, or AGI. AGI, right? That's basically creating machines that are as smart as, or even smarter than humans, right? Exactly, across a wide range of tasks. Okay, now we're talking sci-fi stuff. What's a world with AGI even look like? Robots composing symphonies, writing novels, running corporations. Well, the AIs predicted that widespread automation would be a major consequence of AGI. Right. I mean, it makes sense. If machines can do things as well as or better than us, then logically they could take over a lot of jobs. Manufacturing, transportation, healthcare, maybe even creative fields. It's both exciting and a little scary, right? On the one hand, robots doing the dangerous, tedious jobs, freeing us up for more creative pursuits. But what about the people whose jobs are replaced? That's a big question, isn't it? What happens to them? Exactly. And that's one of the challenges the AI has highlighted. They predicted potential for increased economic inequality. Like if the folks who own or control the AI tech are accumulating wealth while others are struggling to find their place in this new job market. So it's not just robots taking over the world. We're talking about big social and economic shifts that could have a huge impact on how our society even functions. Precisely. And it goes beyond just economics, too. The AIs pointed to a potential identity crisis. You know, as humans grapple with their role in a world where machines are capable of things we once considered uniquely human, what does it mean to be human when AI can create art, write poetry, or solve complex scientific problems. Some deep philosophical questions right there. And we'll definitely need to explore those later on. But for now, let's switch gears and dive into the second revolution our AI panel predicted. This one focuses on the very building blocks of life itself, the biotech and genomics revolution. Okay, so now we're talking about harnessing the power of biology to potentially cure diseases, extend lifespans, and maybe even enhance human capabilities. Before we jump into the fascinating details of this revolution, I want to remind you to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on what the future might hold. We're eager to hear your predictions and what aspects of these revolutions resonate most with you. We'll be back in a moment to explore the incredible possibilities and potential pitfalls of the biotech and genomics revolution. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our deep dive into the future. 
Before we jump into biotech and genomics, let's take a moment to really think about what that AI and automation revolution could actually mean for us. Like imagine a world where the line between human and machine gets even blurrier. Right. You're right. It's not just about robots taking our jobs. It's about, you know, how we see ourselves in relation to technology. It really makes you think about our identity, our values, even our sense of purpose, you know. But OK, let's shift gears now and explore another revolution. This one could have a huge impact on our lives. The biotech and genomics revolution. This one's really exciting because it gets into like the building blocks of life itself. You know, the AI highlighted things like CRISPR, basically a gene editing tool that lets us make these super precise changes to DNA. So instead of just treating symptoms of a disease, we could like correct the genetic errors that cause it. That's mind blowing. Exactly. Imagine a world without diseases like cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, even some types of cancer just gone because we can fix the genes that cause them. And it goes way beyond just inherited diseases, too. The AI predicted that personalized medicine would get so much more sophisticated. Doctors could tailor treatments to your unique genetic makeup. So that means medications with fewer side effects, more effective therapies, and maybe even the ability to catch health risks before they even become a problem. It's like a personalized health plan based on your own genetic code. Right. But it's not just about treating diseases. The AIs pointed to synthetic biology, too, where we're creating entirely new organisms or biological systems for specific purposes. Oh, so we're not just editing existing genes. We're actually designing and building new ones from scratch. What could we even use that for? Oh, the possibilities are huge. We could engineer bacteria to clean up pollution, develop new biofuels, create sustainable food sources, and get this, maybe even crack the code of aging. Okay, now we've got my attention. Are we talking about, like, extending human lifespans? Seriously extending them? That's what the AIs are predicting. Imagine slowing down aging, maybe even reversing it. It's a pretty crazy thought. My mind is racing with the possibilities and the ethical implications. Would we even want to live for hundreds of years? What would that mean for society, for our resources, for the balance between generations? Those are all great questions, and the AIs brought up those complexities, too. They talked about social unrest, if life-extending treatments are only available to the wealthy, making inequality even worse. There are these big philosophical questions, too, you know. What happens to our sense of purpose if we could potentially live forever? It's a whole Pandora's box of ethical and societal dilemmas. Mm. And speaking of ethical dilemmas, what about designer babies? You know, if we can edit genes, does that mean parents could choose their kids' eye color, height, intelligence? Yeah, the AIs flag that as a major concern. Imagine a world where parents are basically designing their kids, picking and choosing the traits they want. It makes you think about diversity and the potential for genetic discrimination. It's a slippery slope for sure. Yeah. And even if we ignore the ethical issues for a second, there's the question of unintended consequences. We're talking about messing with the very essence of life. How can we be sure we understand what we're really doing, you know, the long-term effects? It's the same with any new technology, I guess. It's hard to predict all the outcomes, good and bad. We're going into uncharted territory, and it's going to take serious thought, ethical guidelines, and constant dialogue to make sure these powerful tools are used responsibly. So we've got AI and automation maybe changing our jobs and our identities, and we've got biotechnology offering the possibility of curing diseases, living longer, even manipulating our genes. It's a lot to take in. What's next? Well, the AI experts had two more revolutions on their list, both a bit less likely, but potentially even more impactful. These are the ones that really stretch our imaginations and make us think about the long-term future of humanity. Okay, I'm ready to have my mind blown again. Hit me with those wildcard revolutions. What did the AIs predict? Okay, so we've explored AI and automation reshaping the workforce and our identity. We've talked about the revolutionary potential of biotechnology, but our AI experts they had a couple more predictions. Right. Slightly lower probabilities, but huge potential impacts for the future of humanity. What are we talking about here? Get ready to have your mind blown because we're heading into science fiction territory. First up, space industrialization. Roll. Okay. Imagine not just visiting space, but actually living and working there permanently. Okay. So we're talking asteroid mining, lunar bases, maybe even factories in orbit. Yeah. Like straight out of a movie. Exactly. The AIs see a future where we're using space resources, building these massive solar energy collectors, 
even starting self-sustaining colonies on other planets. It sounds incredible, but also like incredibly difficult. How would we even start tackling those kinds of challenges? Yeah. The technology, the logistics, it's massive. Well, the AIs did say it would take a level of global cooperation and investment that we've never seen before. Right. It would push the limits of engineering and innovation, but the potential rewards are huge. Imagine accessing the resources of asteroids, building zero gravity factories, or even harnessing solar energy from space and beaming it back to Earth. It's like opening up a whole new frontier for human ingenuity. But it also makes you think, who gets to control those resources? How do we make sure space is used responsibly, sustainably? Exactly. Space industrialization would need a whole new set of rules and ethical guidelines for governing activities beyond Earth. It forces us to think about our place in the universe and our responsibilities. Like we'd need a whole new set of rules for a multi-planetary society. Mind-boggling. Yeah. But the AI experts had one more prediction. And this one, it goes deep into what it means to be human. This one's all about understanding and manipulating consciousness itself. The consciousness revolution. Okay, now we're getting really deep. What does that even look like? Telepathy. Psychic powers. Not quite, but almost as wild. The AIs pointed to brain-computer interfaces, where we could control devices with our minds, even connect directly to the internet. Wait, connecting our brains to the internet? What about hackers? Or AI taking over our minds? That sounds a little risky. There are definitely concerns about security and privacy with anything that connects directly to the brain. But the benefits could be huge, too. Imagine restoring movement for paralyzed people, treating mental health with incredible precision, even boosting our cognitive abilities. So we're not just using computers, we're integrating with them, expanding our capabilities in ways we can't even imagine. It's exciting and a little scary at the same time. What would it mean for, like, our sense of self, our individuality, our humanity? Those are the big questions that the consciousness revolution asks. If we can manipulate consciousness, what does it mean to be human? Where's the line between us and technology? They even mentioned mind uploading, transferring our consciousness into a digital world. Yeah. Ultimate immortality. But would it really be you experiencing that digital existence? A real philosophical head scratcher. The consciousness revolution makes us rethink everything we know about reality, human potential, and what it means to be alive. Wow, we've covered a lot today. AI, biotechnology, space, even the manipulation of consciousness. The future looks wild. It's an exciting time to be alive, and it's important that we engage with these possibilities, both the good and the bad. Totally agree. The future isn't just something that happens to us. It's something we create. So what kind of future do you want? What role will you play in shaping it? That's a great question to think about. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the future, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Which revolution resonated most with you? What are your hopes or fears about the future? Thanks for joining us. Keep exploring. Keep imagining. The future awaits.